Okay, first up. Okay, we got a bunch of solar panels. The reason we have these solar panels is the ones that we normally get from Voltaic are not available because of shortages. So they said, look, we don't have the epoxy ones, uh, you know, they're beautiful and glossy, but we have ones that are the same efficiency um, and almost the same uh, wattage, but uh, with uh, e e PTFE uh, coating, so it's a plastic coating. It's still weatherproof and, you know, they're basically drop-in compatible. Um, they're just not that glossy style. So there's uh, four different shapes. I think it's like 1.2, 2, 3, and 5 watts. Um, you know, so this little teeny panel, which is really adorable. This one is the only one that doesn't have the cable attached. You will have to solder wires onto the back. It's a very low cost one. I'll say one thing to watch out for is some of these are five volts and then one of them is six volts. I don't remember exactly which, but check the tech specs. Some of them have 10 cells, which is a five volt panel, and some have six cells, which, um, sorry, 12 cells, which makes it a six volt panel. Um, why does this matter? Well, you know, probably doesn't. Um, and our solar charger boards can use either. Um, but if you're expecting a particular open cell voltage, um, it will be different, right? Depending your, your six volt panel nominal will have an open cell voltage of like seven and a half volts and your five volt um, nominal open cell will be like 6.75 or something. So it's just something to watch out for. Um, but other than that, these are, these are quite nice. These are handsome little panels. Maybe I'll show yeah. one on the overhead. Sorry, I'm gonna move this because it looks like a black square. Okay, so you can it's even a new kind iPad. Of, <laughs> you can even kind of see this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this has ten cells. Uh, these thin cells, they're uh, monocrystalline. They're twenty-two percent efficient. There's like mounting slots on the outside. It comes with the uh, you know this kind of standard three point five millimeter, one point three millimeter inner diameter plug, which is used by Voltaic, but we have an adapter that you can use with this um, to give you uh, 2.1 millimeter. And then each one is uh, categorized. So um, I think this is the peak, uh, you know, MPPT peak voltage and current uh, rating and then when, when it was manufactured in their product ID. So there's this one, there's this one, which is a very cute one. This one is about two watts. This one is about five watts, a little bit more than five watts, a little bit more than two watts. This little baby is uh, 1.2 watts, so very small. But this is actually a good size for many projects, gives you about 200 milliamps or so. Um, let's see, current, yeah, about, point, about 200 milliamps or so. And then um, the Big Bertha, which is the uh, five watt, sorry, 10 watt panel. So this will give you up to two amps in direct sunlight. So it's, it's so big, it doesn't even fit under the overhead. But um, they're all very good. And then, you know, while we're waiting for the epoxy panels to be manufactured again and available, uh, these are a very good alternative. Okay, next up. Well, this is kind of a weirdo thing. So this is something somebody sent us and I was like, well, I don't know how useful it is, but it might be useful. So I'll, I'll carry it because they're pretty cheap. This is called a JIG, uh, J-I-G. And they're used, um, traditionally they're used for people who have Samsung phones um, with a micro USB on the go slot. And you would use this to get it into debug mode or like bootloader mode. You know, even if it's like, it kind of seems bricked, this would usually resuscitate um, the phone. It basically has a resistor. I think it's got 300K resistor from the ID pin, right? Pin four of the micro USB is used for the on the go identification to ground. And I thought this could be useful for some other things. Like, you know, sometimes you want to like a dummy slot. Like you want to kind of convince something that there is a device connected to USB. Yeah, you have to do that with like HDMI stuff sometimes. Yeah, there's just, I just was like, this is one of those like, well, look, it's only like a dollar. So, you know, we might as well get a couple and, and, and try yeah. them out. Um, you know, I haven't tried this on a Samsung phone. I did open it up and there is a resistor. It's, it's epoxied. So it's kind of like a, you know, I couldn't really open it up and, and show, but there is... Um, a resistor inside, and uh, I think it could be useful for other stuff as well. So, Samsung phone debricking, go for it. But anything else where you need to convince a device that there is a uh, USB on the go cable attached um, with something connected with the ID pin connected to ground, this might be handy. And tell us about it because we'd, we'd love to know yeah. why. All right, start show tonight. Besides you, Lady Ada, our team. 
Our customers, our community, everyone in chat is... Do, 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 do. This is the Interstate 75. This is a board from Pimeroni, and they love blinky stuff. And uh, this board looks a little familiar because it looks like they were like, thought that the Matrix Portal was a really cool board design. So why not make a version with the RP2040? Why not indeed? And so they did, and it looks great. Um, so it's got a, a connector for a um, uh, Hub 75 standard, uh, six, you know, six, up to 64 by 64 size panel. It's got the E address. Um, it's got uh, some extra GPIO brought out. It's got power pins. You can power it via USB-C, uh, which is fine. You can get a couple amps from USB-C. And of course, you can always disconnect the power and, and connect it separately if you want to um, have separate power. And uh, inside there, you can see there's an RP2040. It looks like about two megabytes of flash memory. Stem QT, quick connector. Um, it's got, uh, sorry, I didn't finish there. It's got, uh, it uh, looks like an RGB LED just for like indication, um, level shifters, reset boot switch, and debug port It's an RP2040. Can it run CircuitPython? It can run CircuitPython. Sure, they, yeah. they do, they, you know, you can definitely use it with CircuitPython. And uh, we've got um, core support in the RP2040 for Protomatter, which is the, um, you know, the driver for RGB matrices. Um, they have their own version that uses PIO, which is faster refresh rate, but is less integrated with, you know, MicroPython and um, you know, like the display system. And you have to really like manually do everything. Whereas what's nice about if you use CircuitPython is like you can use any font you want and you can uh, do like sprite maps and graphics and animations and, and you know, align things and you can have the REPL show up on it. Um, so all that good stuff, but you can use either. The hardware is, is agnostic. Um, so it very, but you know, it doesn't have the ESP32, so it can't do Wi-Fi on its own. On the other hand, um, it uh, is less expensive because it doesn't have an extra Wi-Fi chip. Maybe everything doesn't need to be online. It doesn't need to be online. This is good if you need right. an air gap want, solution. Do you want to show uh, show it on the overhead or? or, or yeah, I can show it. I mean, it's kind of the same demo. This okay. is the MicroPython demo. Um, Looks so good on the overhead. It's not, yeah, it's got. You can see it's got good dithering, uh, good bit depth. Uh, this is a 32 by 64 matrix, and it's kind of cute. It's on the back here. Um, and then you can have the power cable connected through, and you can, you know, mount it however you like. So yeah. uh, and you can chain panels. If you have another panel, you can chain it. And just you tell the software, hey, there's there's more panels. And this right. is a and then cable board. Hold it up. Does it reach? Yeah, so you can see how this looks. And this is all bright in here, too. Yes. Yeah. So, I love these little panels. They're so yeah, adorable. And good. we stock the panels, so it's an easy... Pick up whatever panel size you want, because we got a good supplier now, and, and, and that add in is Interstate 75. New products.